city of Kisi County has been a great source of fish and water in the region and beyond. But little is done about the lake and how it was formed. According to Cleophos Manyara, a chief geologist in Kisi County, the lake was formed in 1965 through a process where rocks bend and then sink to create a reservoir. Its size has, however, been impacted over the years, courtesy of geological activities that could spell doom its environs. Approximately 15 kilometers from Kisi County headquarters in Kisi town lies this little known water body, Lake Okari, which remains underutilized despite being clustered in the same category with East Africa's largest freshwater body, Lake Victoria, Lake Okari, which is located in Getebo village, Sensi Ward, Marani Sub County, is one of the three natural water bodies in Nyanza that feed rivers, springs and boreholes in the region and beyond. Here in Nyanza and the western province, we have three, I mean two more water bodies which are behind this way. One of them is Lake Victoria, the giant Lake Victoria. Another one is Lake Simbinyaima. Lake Simbinyaima is in a neighboring Homa Bay County here. They are formed by the same process of actual crustal deformation whereby the rocks, because of the weight, they subside, they bend downwards to create a reservoir. Cleophas Manyara is a chief geologist and director of infrastructure maintenance in Kisi County. He says that the 50 by 70 feet Lake Okari was formed in 1965 through a process where rocks bend and then sink to create a reservoir, adding that geological changes may have an impact on the size of the lake in the coming years. He further explains that the geological changes may split the country into two in the years to come. It is another phenomenon, geological phenomenon, which is affecting Kenya. And in my estimation, the country called Kenya is going to be two pieces one million years from now. Because along the rift from Mozambique to the Red Sea, there shall be water. Land shall be two pieces. You shall have East Kenya and West Kenya. Kisi University Vice Chancellor Professor John Akama also warns of similar impacts of geological activities, which he says may lead. 